Gun, gun, gun. this innocent armor boom yo what's up y'all so check this out we doing something a little bit different and luke and i are about to stress this innocent armor backpack out and you guys are gonna get to see the review when we get done i love the products i love everything about the company i love that it's low profile i hope to high heaven <laughs> it holds up against us banging up against it we we'll gonna see what happens we'll see if it holds up we're gonna shoot the heck out of it so. heck yeah so holla to my mans and them uh, Mike with Innocent Armor. We about to get after it. Boom! Yo, what's up, y'all? Byron Rogers and my main man, Luke Agajanian here. And what we're gonna do today is a little something different. We're going to take a look at this backpack, this completely low-profile backpack from a company that I'm really excited to be partnering with called Innocent Armor. What Innocent Armor does is they uh, produce civilian-centric gear that looks normal but has the added benefit of armor inside of it. So we got this 3A armor plate that uh, me and Luke are gonna just try and see if we can't obliterate today. Yeah, this backpack's gonna be destroyed. <laughs> but I do really like the backpack. It doesn't have the molly. It doesn't look like something that would be something a guy who carries a gun would be carrying. Uh, maybe a little more stylish for like the wife, the kids. Yes. Um, and they have a lot of different colors and stuff like that too. Yeah, they got a lot of options. Cause you know you need black. <laughs> That's why we're shooting the tan. <laughs> <laughs> that is literally why we're shooting like tan. I might wear tan you know yeah but I don't think you would wear I mean today tan. I was being you know I'm being a little weird I got a color on but <laughs> uh, yeah man so this looks like a civilian thing your kids can take this backpack to school uh, totally low profile like you were saying no Molly except the added benefit of a plate that's big enough to cover boom the and I'm six torso. four so yeah. this is uh, this is nice and large it's really light. It's it's uh, it's not too stiff, which is great. And what will this stop? I think it's 3A, so pretty much most pistol rounds. Exactly. Um, this is great, man. I'm excited to shoot this. We'll um, see if it works. Exactly. I'm just hoping it holds up because we're about to bang on it. So y'all stand by for the next chapter when we break this thing off. Oh, boom! <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we gonna do today to this thing? Today we're gonna shoot some nine mil, but we're gonna shoot an assortment of rounds that guys like us are carrying on the job every day. So these are rounds you may run into depending on what your aggressor knows about ballistics and about the quality of ammunition they're looking at. So we've got some Federal Hydro Shocks here. We've got your standard ball. He's gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot the uh, Hornady Critical Duty. Uh, it is uh, my carry round of choice. And then just the standard uh, military 9 mil 115 ball. Boom. And they're gonna be coming out of my CZ P10C hybrid. So I've got the longer P10, P10F barrel with the CZ P10 frame underneath. And I'm gonna be shooting a compact uh, P07 uh, from CZ. And this is a four and a quarter inch barrel, I believe. So a little slower velocity than yours, but we'll see how this holds up. We'll see how this thing holds up. Stand by. Boom. All right, this first round is the Hornady Critical Duty. problems there there's the hole right there nothing went through that's clean next round yeah. all right this next round is the 115 ball So here's the second hole right here. Nothing went through. So far, so good. Boom, so check it out. First round, we're gonna put a hydro shock on target. I go right underneath Luke's ammo. One round. Good. 
go. You can see right here, this is uh, his first shot with the Hydroshock and nothing on the back. You can definitely tell with these Duty loads. There's a lot more stuff. Yeah, I shot like all duty ammo. <laughs> on, uh, a lot more heat. Yeah, on uh, all right on the mark again. Boom. So now what we have is your 115 grain ball ammo coming out of the CZ P10F slide. So a little longer barrel. And we'll go down. <laughs> Belly shot. So there's his hole right there. Still pretty low. We're almost to the edge there, but still no penetration. No real deformation, so that's solid. Yeah, I'm digging that. This thing's definitely held up. That's four rounds in. Uh, and it looks like it can take a lot more. It can definitely continue playing, which is what we like to see. Now we're gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the hydro shop and give it like a, a five, six round rip. Just get nasty with it and see how she reacts to that. So, this is like you're holding your plate, you come around the corner, and you turn the wrong corner, and your aggressor is right in front of you and opens up right into the backpack. All the rounds that have already been shot are already marked inside the pack so we can keep track of what the damage I'm about to do uh, versus what, we are, what we've already done. Stand by. And this is the Hydroshock. We're back to the duty load. The mannequin couldn't handle it. You killed him. I killed him. So let's see uh, if anything made it through, but just the <laughs> pressure of the blast dropped it. I think I got like four off. Uh, but we'll see what, if anything snuck through. No. And the pressure test continues. I was worried. I was worried for a minute. So Byron had a good group, two good groups here. <laughs> this is where he started. And then when it fell, his last three were right here. But nothing, uh, nothing's gone through. Nothing's gone through. That's the main thing. So let's uh, try the critical duty now. Yes. See if that does. Give it some love. You want to hold it so it won't slip? This time when I when I start shooting we can <laughs> we just take turns holding the plate. No. <laughs> Luke fucking shot me, bro. Couldn't believe it. Alright, now the critical duty. We'll do a six round burst. Seven round burst. <laughs> the main thing now is just gonna be did any of those rounds slip through? The backpack's moving around, that's probably realistic. The backpack shifting because I kept to hold I just thing. kept tracking it. Yeah. Alright, so we got some deforming. So these fell off. So we have some side shots here, here. We got this one here, this one here, here, here. And absolutely nothing. So this is not a hole, this is a rip. But where I hit it here, it deformed. In here, you can see it, and it stopped it. So nothing, nothing out of the back of this. Heck yeah. Up. This is pretty good. <laughs> that's impressive. That's uh, that's a lot of rounds into a yeah, plate. Yeah. So, uh, point in case, y'all, innocent armor held up. I mean, you can see from these groups. Uh, this is about. I mean, you're sitting there holding this thing. It's gonna be all you can take, anyways. Um, but in terms of getting off the X, getting your client off the X, getting your kids off the X, uh, having something that can hold up against a fight or definitely a burst of ammunition this thing definitely checks out check it out boom look at all those rounds seriously <laughs> you know uh, to be able to hold a piece of gear in front of yourself or in front of your client and take this much abuse is 
absolutely priceless. It's kind of, you know, what would you put, what price would you put on uh, your life? And that's the question you gotta ask yourself. So, heck yeah, much respect to Innocent Armor for providing these plates. And now I'm gonna move around a little bit in the gear and see how it feels. And Wait, 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 let's shoot it with a rifle. Very well. <laughs> we shall shoot it with a rifle. <laughs> Boom, so here we go again, y'all. Check it out, we got some spear, 75 grain gold dot. We're gonna throw inside of my lovely PWS. You know what I'm saying, this is my Mark uh, 114. My favorite rifle, my duty rifle. My, I do everything with a rifle. Shout out to PWS uh, for bringing the heat. And uh, we're about to have a good time with this bad boy. I love any time I can break this Larry out. Woo! How many should I give it? That's enough. <laughs> Fine. I don't think it worked. <laughs> we'll oh. see though. All right. Well, let's see how bad. It, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, y'all. Now this really isn't fair, <laughs> but. Did it go through? One of the holes is not like the other. Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, it sure did. <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is exactly what it says it is, <laughs> which is uh, 3A. So it can stop handgun rounds, but um, this will not hold up against a rifle. So uh, beware. But nine times out of 10, what you're going to be dealing with in these urban environments is going to be an aggressor, an assailant, running around with a handgun. Uh, blasting and uh, trying to take your lunch money, whatever it is. So, for that purpose, I 100% recommend rocking this thing. Look at the abuse this backpack has taken. Uh, that's impressive to me. And with only one penetration from the rifle round, that's legit. We had one other tear, but if you look at this tear really closely, it's not. It's not from an actual uh, penetration. It's the actual fabric tearing as a round went in here and uh, exit it out sideways. So this thing's awesome, man. Look at all those impacts. Boom. Definitely put my life behind it. Now we're gonna move around with the gear on a little bit. I'm gonna throw uh, their polo jacket on and get after it. Boom. All right, y'all, so check it out. I'm gonna run this. Uh, this is their polo jacket right here. So it's also 3A. Um, it's got multiple panels in it. <clears throat> so you've got Wahed. Ethnine, Plata, <laughs> three panels. Um, two covering your front with a nice little overlap just to make sure you catch anything that slips through. Um, and one big one in the back goes all the way up, all the way up to the top of your shoulders and your neck area. Um, I chose this because uh, living out here in Cali, it gets a little bit warmer. Um, they have a sweet leather jacket. They have a pretty cool jean jacket denim if you're into that. Um, but for me, this just looks like you're just a dude wearing like a Dickies polo jacket. Um, you know, you're, you're not conspicuous. You just look like a dude with kind of a frumpy, like kind of a jacket on. Um, and so I think it's the most gray, like low profile, uh, type of jacket. You know, it's the kind of thing you see, you don't, you don't suspect anything. You know? And as you guys can see, sorry, as you guys can see, I'm rocking appendix. So can I draw with it? Um, that's another consideration uh, in my everyday carry position. Um, I believe it's not gonna be an issue, but I'm gonna have to hike this gear up a little bit just to get to my gat. Um, kind of some of the other considerations. Get this collar fixed. <laughs> okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Boom. Um, this is the type of thing you're gonna wanna practice Make sure you practice your draw stroke in. <clears throat> you don't wanna just throw this on and think you can operate with it. And then something Noner talks about is every time you put on a new piece of clothing, you wanna th throw your gun on, empty it, always be safe, but you wanna practice a few draws. You wanna practice a few draws just so you can jumpstart that software in your mind of what it's gonna be like to defeat your garment in order to uh, begin running that gun if you do get ambushed and you do have to whip it on. Uh, there's no side protection, so make sure you know that. Uh, going into this, it's not a complete wrap around, but I've got panel protection out to here 
uh, the inside of my body is in here uh, a couple inches. So I'm, I feel more than safe inside this and it comes all the way up to the top of my collarbones. All my uh, essentials, <laughs> my vitals are all covered. Um, and even with some double, some overlap here. So that makes me feel real warm and fuzzy if I'm going into an environment where maybe I'm not able to have a gun, uh, maybe I'm not able to have all the gear I want to have with me, but it's still a high threat situation. Obviously, as security professionals, we're trying to mitigate everything with systems and principles and tactics. But at the end of the day, you want to have something to answer almost anything that your enemy is going to have. And I think there's a good piece of kit that can help you do that. So I'm going to move around in it a little bit, shoot in it a little bit. I can tell like my draw stroke, I still have uh, full presentation. I actually have great movement. I can still, bah! you know what I'm saying? If I need to, you know what I'm saying? Do a little this and that. Um, but uh, overall, I feel like my mobility is not limited. If I need to grab somebody, I can grab them. I can hem them up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a little bit, of, there's a little bit of catch, but uh, overall, I don't feel inhibited at all, so I'm all about that. Let's get after it. Boom. Solid. So instantly I'm noticing when I draw with this armor on, um, I've got to come out at a little bit of more of an angle in order to clear the actual garment before presenting my weapon. Um, and those are the little things you need to know about every single garment that you're wearing before actually leaving the house with it when you're carrying. So that's why you do these practice runs before you even leave the house wearing your gear. All right. Action. Gun. Good. Action. Nice. Sweet. Overall, it's not it's not holding me back at all. Moving around a little bit, shooting multiple targets. Uh, definitely notice the draw stroke has to change a little bit um, but overall like I'm not feeling restricted enough or I'm not feeling restricted at all with regards to being able to engage the different targets so that's exciting. day so ran a few laps with this bad boy on getting loose I love that we have that gasseted uh, space back here for me to move with my presentation whole systems breathing good um, I'm not overheating this is for me running around um, but can I fight in this absolutely can I get to my weapon absolutely do I have the warm and fuzzy that comes from knowing that you have something on you that can protect you from uh, gunfire, especially hand gunfire, 100%. So I'll be using this on details. <laughs> I mean, this is something I'm gonna have with me on details. Question is, will you, will your family? Uh, I give Innocent Armor 100% thumbs up. It's exactly what they say it is. It's innocent and it's armor and you can fight in it. Boom! I'll be back.